Welcome back guys to the second part of the audio play lesson. Let's continue coding our audio player. We already moved the CSS styles to a separate file. Let's do the same thing for the JS code too. Player.js and uh, okay. I'm going to include uh, I'm going to include this file here. Script source equal to sorry player.js let's define the song sari here i have copied the file names already in the notes let me take that let me copy this and paste it here yes this is just the file names let's get all the elements which are defined in the html file first song title document dot get element by id song title let me copy this and this is my song slider and this is my current time control and this is my duration you can see all the controls here song title song slider current time duration and I am going to get volume slider here volume slider and finally uh, the next song title and I am creating a new audio object and uh, variable to track the current song I want to the uh, I want to play the song automatically when the document is loaded so window dot on load equal to load song this will call the load song method once the document is loaded now we need to define the load song method load song the first thing we need to do is setting the audio source since all the songs are placed inside this songs directory I'm mentioning the directory path here and this is the song array and this is the index so it will give the first song and I'm going to set the song title here song title dot text content text content equal to songs of current song and I want to show the song number also so I append like this current song plus one current song is the current song index so I'm adding one with that let me add a dot here done then my next song title dot inner html equal to, I'm using inner html here because I'm going to have a html tags inside this bold next song and closing of bold tag and songs of current song plus one this statement will be in trouble when we play the lost song to handle it I take modulo uh, with the songs length so when we play the last song the first song title will be shown here and I am going to play the first song once the last song is over I am going to get the value of volume slider and use it as my volume so song dot volume equal to volume slider dot value now I am playing the song now the song slider should show the progress of the song in order to do that I am using set interval method update song slider in every one second let me define the method here 
update song slider where c equal to song dot current time this current time property sets or returns the current playback position uh, in an audio in seconds it will be in a uh, floating point i want to round it using math dot round now i'm setting this value to the song slider also we need to update the current time element too current time dot text content equal to c we cannot use this value directly so i am going to write a method which converts these seconds into minutes and seconds function convert time so the argument will be seconds where min equal to to get the minutes we can simply divide the seconds by 60 i am going to round it down since it will return floating point number whenever we divide a number we will get quotient and reminder in order in order to get quotient we we are using the slash operator for reminder we need to use modulo operator here we need to use modulo operator to get the remaining seconds where seconds equal to seconds modulo 60 it will give the remaining seconds and uh, i am going to add a simple check here if the minutes or seconds are returned in single digit i am going to append zero to that value let's do that if min is less than 10 append zero otherwise keep it as it is and second yeah i am done with this now i am returning this value min plus colon and seconds let's use this here convert to time of c now i am going to calculate the total duration of the song one more method for that show duration where d equal to math dot floor song dot duration song dot duration returns the length of an audio in seconds remember that we didn't set the max value for the song slider see we set minimum value and we set the step value we didn't set the max value I'm going to set the max value also song song slider dot set attribute max and D will be the maximum value and I'm going to set a total duration here duration dot text content equal to convert to time of D the show duration method is not yet called I am adding this method called inside the load song method set timeout show duration thousand now you are started thinking why I am calling this method after once again using the time set timeout method this duration property will need some time to fetch the song length so i am allowing the allowing allowing one second of time to fetch that let's check it out in the browser you cannot able to hear anything this is because okay let me debug this actually it's showing error in the 27th line let's check this 27 is next song title okay it's telling next song title yes the name is right let me check the html file oops this is next song but 
okay let's fix this now it will work now I can able to hear the song but I'm unable to stop or pause it and one more thing I noticed is the audio player is showing the play button when the audio is playing actually it should show the pause button when the audio is playing and it should show the play button only when the song is paused let's fix it let's change this play button to pause and we are given a method here play or pause song and we need to define in JS function play or pause song and function body to know whether the song is paused we can use the property paused if song paused if song is passed, we need to play it. So song dot play, and we should show the pass image. Let me add a, uh, this here, so I can able to get the image element here. Image dot source equal to images dot pass else. The song is not passed, we need to pause it. And the image source is play.png. Let's add the method for next and previous songs too. Let's check the method name there. Oh, sorry, it's previous. It's just previous, it's just next. So, not next song. It's just next it's very simple current song equal to current song plus one if it is the last song it should go to the first song so i am taking a modulo with the song's length and i'm invoking load song method to load the song and previous current song equal to current song minus one or uh, or we can write like this current song minus equal to one or current song minus minus you can follow you can follow any of this type if the value is less than 0, it should play the last song. So current song equal to current song is less than 0. I am just setting the lowest index of the array. So this is the length. This is the lowest index of the array. Otherwise, as it is, no change. Then load song method. Let's check it quickly. Yeah, pause, play. Play is not working. Okay, why? This is paused. Pause, play, pause, play. Next song, previous song previous song yes and again pause now we are done with the play pause and loading next song and previous song and we uh, and we need to add the functionalities to song slider and volume slider let's do that we have already added a seek song method here and uh, adjust volume method here let's define this method in JS seek song song dot current time equal to song slider dot value I am just setting the value of the song slider to the current time property of the song uh, 
to update the current time element current time dot text content equal to convert to time of song dot current time now our volume slider it's very very simple song dot volume equal to volume slider dot value I am just setting the value of the volume slider to the song volume we have two more buttons here which is not it having any functionalities backward where is that this forward actually I am not going to use these buttons for forward and backward since we cannot able uh, since we can able to seek the song easily with the song slider I am going to use these two buttons to increase or decrease the playback speed let's do it I am going to change this method name to um, increase playback rate and decrease playback rate let's code it increase playback rate here I am going to increase the playback rate by 0.5 and a function to decrease the playback rate change it to decrease and no arguments and what is songs dot playback rate minus equal to 0 0.5 it will um, decrease uh, decrement the playback rate by 0 0.5 when we increase or decrease the playback rate we always need to ensure whether the playback rate is reset when we change the song or when we play or pause the song so I am going to reset the playback rate value in the load song method where is that load song method I am searching for that ok set here song dot playback rate equal to sorry equal to 1 and play or play song I'm just copying this line and pasting it here. And finally, we need to do one more thing. Once the song is over, we need to play the next song in the list. In order to achieve that, I'm going to add a check whether the song is uh, ended or not in the update song slider. I'm adding this check inside this method because every second this method will be called. If song entered we need to the, play the next song now it's time to check all the functionality of the audio player we created now let's check it now pause play pause next song previous song the song seeker is not working as expected Let's check this out. Actually, uh, this should be thousand. One second. Now, song is song seek is working properly, and it's time to check the volume slider. Yeah, it's working perfect. Super. So everything is working perfectly. Hope you have learned a lot of CSS and JS in this video lesson. Feel free to put your feedback in the below comment section. You can get the copy of this document in the description right below this video. Subscribe to this channel to get the instant notification whenever I upload a new video. Share this with your friends. Thanks for watching this video. Bye bye.